I love using Kittle and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a blueprint design. I'm going to go over here to the top right and I'm going to click new project. I'm just going to use the artboard as is although you could change the dimensions if you like. To do that you would just click on this little settings button and you could change the dimensions. I'm just going to leave it square though for today. Now the first thing I want to do is import my design that I'm going to make a blueprint of. So I've got a couple options here. I can go to the photos tab on the left hand side or I'm going to go to the elements tab and in this case I'm going to go to the elements tab and I'm going to type in the name of a vehicle. So for example motorcycle and then I'll click down below and we'll see what pops up. Okay I'm going to pick this one here and I'm going to click the button and it's going to populate in. Now you'll notice it's two colors over on the right hand side so I've got a quick tip on how you can make something look really great if it's two different colors off of the Kittle graphics library. I'm going to make this a bit bigger just by moving it out like this and you can move it all over the place. I'm going to center it so you can see the center design the actual guideline comes up and then as I move it up and down the middle guideline comes up so now it's perfectly centered. Okay now I'm going to make my background a different color. So I'm going to click the white. You'll see the background color comes up here on the right hand side. I'm going to click it, move it down to the blue and I'll make it kind of a dark blue. Something like that looks really good. So now what I'm going to do, this is the neat little tip here. I'm going to click the motorcycle and we'll see there's two colors that come up. The light green, I want to make that transparent and the dark color I want to make it white. So the dark one I'm going to click and I'm going to make it white. Okay, that's easy. Now I'm going to click the green and using the eyedropper tool I'm going to make it the exact same color as the background. Now you could flip this around. I'm just going to click undo a couple times and we can do it the opposite way as well. I could click the light green and I could make it white and then I could click the other color and I could make it using the eyedropper tool the background. So you can make it look however you want using those two different colors. It's pretty neat to do. So that's what I'm going to run with here in this case. I'm going to move this up just a tiny bit. And now I'm going to put some text down below. So I'm going to go over to the left hand side and click the text tool. I'm going to click add headline. We're going to see it just populates here and I'm going to type in the word motorcycle. And then I'm going to pick my text over on the right using the drop down and I'm going to pick something like a lot of font for example. And then I'm going to make the text white. Simply going to stretch it out, move it so that it's centered and then just by clicking the up arrow key I can make this text as big as I want. I can also just drag this and make it larger as well. So very quickly you can make this text design quite large. So to make a grid it's pretty straightforward. On the left hand side I'm going to click elements and then on the top where I search I'm going to type in the word square and we'll see what, I'm, what I care about is that it does not have rounded corners. This has square corners which is good. So I'm going to move this over here to the top and it just kind of locks into place and then I'm just going to make it however big I want. Let's say it like this and then now I'm going to go border weight over on the right hand side. I'm going to make the border weight not zero. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and then I'm going to make the border color white. So now we can see I've got a square that's got white on it and now because you saw how I did my magic trick earlier I'm simply going to click into the middle, click the object color, the eyedropper tool, the background and now we've basically made a transparent square. So using this now I can simply go control C, control V and I can copy this over. It'll snap on which is really nice. When I move this around you'll see it want to snap on top which is great. So now we've got two. I'll do control C and control V again and I'll just basically copy this over multiple times until I get basically a grid pattern. Okay so now I've got the grid pattern set up and you can see it's a little bit bigger than my palette. So I'm going to click this and holding down the shift key I'm going to click them all, all the squares and then using this little corner I'm going to just make this the same size as the actual artboard. So now I've got six wide. Now I'm going to go control C, control V, drag this whole thing down and we just rinse and repeat all the squares, control C and control V and then just dragging it down. Now with all of the grid highlighted I've right clicked it and I'm going to go move to back and now we can see now the grid is going to sit in behind the actual design. I'm just going to actually just move this motorcycle off to the side and I'm just going to move this text off to the side and with all of the squares highlighted I can go over to the opacity and I can just lower it down to about say 25 percent and when I do that it'll make it much less opaque and easier to use as a background. Okay I'm going to move my motorcycle back in now and I'll move my text back in 
And we can see that's a very simple blueprint design. Now, if you don't like the grid, okay, we've got another option here for you. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight everything and just delete it out. I'm gonna keep the background. So here's a website called Free Icons PNG, and there's, a, it's actually a white grid right here. It's hard to see, but I'm just gonna click this download PNG icon, and then I can just download this grid just from a free website, and I can use that as my grid. Okay, so now to call up that grid, you just save it to your hard drive, and then over here, you can go to uploads and then from here I've uploaded my grid just into my little uploads palette and then I can see this is my black grid so I grabbed both from the website so there's my black grid there I'm going to delete that out and you can see now as well here's the white grid the white grid's actually quite small so you can make this as big as you want simply by stretching it out but this is really nice because this really actually looks like a blueprint design now again with the opacity I'm just going to bring this right down to about 25 and now that's a nice background. And then I'll just go over here to my search. Maybe I'll type in airplane this time. I'll see what comes up. Here's a fighter jet I'm gonna grab. This would be great for like a kid's room, for example. And then again, I'm gonna use the exact same technique as before. I've noticed now here there's four colors. The dark brown, I'm gonna make that white. The green, I'm gonna make it the same color as the document. And then the same thing here with the orange. I'm gonna make it the same color as the background. And then for this cream color, I have a choice to make. I can either make it white, I can make it black, or I could make it the document. So you just kind of have to tinker around with it. You can say, okay, is it gonna look better white? Is it gonna look better blue? I like it like that. So now here is the blue jet. Now you don't have to add a headline if you wanna add text. You could also go into this paragraph as well. So I'm gonna go into vintage, show all, and I'm gonna click on this one which is Matt's Baking. I'm gonna move this down here, and I'm gonna change this now from Matt's Baking to Matt's Airplane. And then I'm just gonna highlight it all, make it white, and that's a really nice looking sign you could have for a kid's room, for the man cave, for a bar downstairs, whatever you wanted to do, you could make this personalized for your client. I think this is a great, easy way to create blueprint designs that really just take minutes and they look professional. I love Kittle. I'm gonna put a link in the video description below, just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. And what that means is if you click the link and you wind up buying something, I will receive a small commission. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. I love using Kittle and I'd love to hear your experiences in the comments too. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand adventures using Kittle.